In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can remove yourself from the background or how you can remove the background from any image. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, in order for us to remove the background or to remove ourselves from the background, we're going to be using Paint 3D. Now, Paint 3D is part of Windows 10. It's completely free and it is incredibly powerful. So let's start by opening up our Paint 3D app. Now, you can do that by simply going to your start menu and typing in Paint 3D. Now, as soon as you see Paint 3D in that menu, click on it and this will open the application. Here you can now create a new file, open that file or simply drag and drop the file if you already have a photograph. I do have a photograph, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to that photograph, drag and drop it into my Paint 3D program. Paint 3D is going to open up the photograph and it's already going to select everything. Now, because everything is selected, I have an option on the right hand side that is titled Magic Select. So here you can see Magic Select. Now, if you haven't selected anything, that same option will be at the top right here, Magic Select. So let's go ahead and click on Magic Select. Now, what Paint 3D wants us to do now is to really tell it which area of the photograph are you trying to cut out. Now, I'm trying to cut out these two cute puppies, and so I'm going to narrow it down to those puppies. So here you can see, I can minimize this field. I'm going to select those puppies, and I'm going to change this as well. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on Next. So here on the right-hand side, you can see Next. It is now going to automatically select the object that Paint 3D thinks I want to cut out. And so you can see here, it's already selected these puppies. It's done a really good job at doing so. I'm going to leave it as it is, but let's say that there was something you wanted to have added to your picture, say the grass here at the bottom, where well, you can use those two options on the right to add or remove to your selection. So let's have a look at adding this. I'm going to add the flowers as well. There we go. This will all be added to my selection and Magic Select is now adding those flowers. We can also add these flowers down here and these are added to the selection. Okay, I'm happy with the selection. I just want to cut the background away and so what we're going to do now is click on Next. Now you can leave this ticked in. This is autofill the background. It's going to automatically fill in the empty space in the background. So let's click on Done. Here we are, we now have our image. We have those puppies and the grass. We can move those around. And then we also have our background and the background is completely separate from this image. We can now also resize these and we can move them anywhere we want. So let's just move them off canvas for now and let's select our background. And there we go. We can delete that. Let's go ahead and delete that background and then we can always just move our image back into the picture. Now the great thing about this is that we can also use Control C and Control V or copy and paste to paste this into any other application. Say you have a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document open, well you can paste it into that document. Another thing we can do is we can save this. So we can save this file to use it later. Let's do that now. We're going to first make sure that it is neatly orientated the way we want it to be. There we go. We're going to go to menu and then save as. Here we can now select image and we can choose the file type. Now the file type we want is a PNG image. And the reason we want to use a PNG image is because the PNG image will allow us to retain transparency. And so once everything is ready, there we go. We can tick the transparency box. Let's tick that box. And as you can see from the example, it saves the file as a file with a transparent background. I'm going to click on save and I now get to select where I want to save this file. So I'm going to save it in that same folder and we're going to title this puppies and save. This file has been saved. As you can see from the folder, I have my file here and it has that transparent background. I can now use this anywhere else. So let's demonstrate this with a PowerPoint presentation. I'm going to open up a new PowerPoint presentation. We have PowerPoint open right here. Let's open up the Floral Flourish example PowerPoint. Let's create that. And now I'm going to paste that puppy picture onto this slide. So we're going to drag and drop that onto our slide. As you can see, because it has a transparent background, I can resize this and it can become part of my presentation. No 
problems. So using Paint 3D, which is completely free and part of Windows 10, you can easily remove the background from any picture or photograph. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to scroll down to check out that description, leave a comment. And if you see that the subscribe button on YouTube is still red, make sure you click on it and hit that bell notification while you're there. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.